Hi, welcome. I'm Marek Munalczyk from SciTrain.co.uk and this time I have a review for you. Uh, I'm known for Adobe Certified Training and specializing in Photoshop, Lightroom, Dromaver, Flash, so photography and web content. But this time I've got a review for you of this multifunctional device, Canon Pixma MP460. Printer, uh, scanner and the copier. So you can do photocopies, you can scan documents, you can also print it. And I'm going to review of this device in here. So let's have a look on this device. Okay, so here I've got this device. It's a Canon Pixma MP460 460. What you can do that is you can scan the documents. Let me just zoom in a bit. Okay. You can scan documents here, right? And you can do photocopies as well. And of course, you can print it's this slot here at the bottom. Okay. Now, let's have a quick, uh, closer look on the actual device just to show you what it looks like and how this works. Okay, so we've got a couple of buttons in here that you can use to copy, scan and read the print images from memory card. It's got a screen. Okay, a couple of buttons here. You can do the color photocopy and black and white color uh, photocopy. So color and black and white. In here, you have the memory card reader. Okay, so in here it's a memory card reader. Okay, and on this side there's a USB port. Okay. Now generally, in my opinion, well it's fast, it's quite good in terms of it scans really well. Not too many options, I'm afraid. I'm on Windows and I didn't have too many options in the driver. So I thought, I hope it would be better. It wasn't that good. Also, in terms of the quality of the print, okay. But it cost really high. And the toners cost a lot because it's Canon. So I would say generally, well, the, print, the device is so-so but the prices are just too high. I would say I'm quite a bit of disappointed because it's Canon and Canon makes amazing cameras, fantastic lenses, but this device is a bit disappointing in terms of the prices. I tried to refill the toners, you can do the refill to save the environment so you don't buy the cartridges. There are, three, there are two cartridges in here, one for color and one for black. And unfortunately, many times when I did the refill, the printer wasn't uh, recognizing the cartridges. This is one of the major disappointments that I had with this print with this printer. It just displays the message that it cannot recognize the cartridge. I never had this kind of problems with HP printers, for example. So I would say maybe something that Canon could work on. Or on the other hand, of course, Canon wants people to use their own original toners. But just to give an example, the color cartridge from Canon here in Britain costs about £30. Pounds. £26, £27 pounds to £30. Pounds. That's a lot. That's a lot for, a, for this kind of printer. For £30 pounds or £40, pounds, you can get a color cartridge toner for a laser printer. So. Not this kind of device, I would expect it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can contact me by going to saitrain.co.uk, Sai S A I, and just drop me an email. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, give you honest re replies. I've used this device for about a year, and now I'm just getting rid of it because I'll be getting a new printer. I'm probably going to get a color laser printer. Which one? I can't tell you yet, but when I got it, I will do a review to show it to you.
Okay, thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from SAI Training at UK, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And thank you for watching that video.